Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work with our wiki, which is a doku wiki, and I will show you the amazing possibilities that you have when using the wiki to plan and organize uh, events or common plans. <coughs> First of all, this is the page that you will see when you go to our wiki. Uh, it's actually not our wiki because um, I do not want to share information with other people on the content of our uh, project wiki. <coughs> so this is my personal one. First of all, you have to log in. That is why you have to click the login button to the bottom right of the screen. Um, there you're confronted with a um, login screen. Click Remember Me if you have cookies enabled and if you want the site to actually remember you. Um, then you click Login and you automatically, automatically come to the Start page. Mm. The start page is designed by the maintainer of the wiki. You can also design it or uh, use it by clicking edit this page and you can start writing a table of contents maybe. Let's do this right now. So you can see it is entered like this. So <clears throat> we're right in the middle of editing a page, which I will show you in more detail in a later video. Right now, I want you to show I want to show you how to navigate on a page like this. So this is the start page, and you always have the index on the bottom <coughs> right of your screen as well. If you click on the index, you come to a tree structure with folders. And if you go into those folders, they are filled with subfolders, right? So you can click through the folders, and <coughs> in there you are in a subfolder structure. Those folders are filled with either uh, subfolders, like this one all with documents which are in the bright green here. So if I click on this document I will land on a page. Um, the wiki usually is free to edit this page so if you want you can immediately start editing this page by clicking edit this page on the top left or on the bottom left of the page. Um, so now I will go back to the index and now I will show you how you can create um, folders. The folders in DokuWiki are called namespaces. So every folder here is a so-called namespace. You can uh, create your own namespaces very easily uh, by clicking on the search structure there is a, a field to enter search uh, words and you can simply start creating your own namespaces for example let's create a new namespace namespace which is called uh, new stuff so we write new stuff <coughs> notice how I write capital letters and a space here between new and stuff then a colon um, the colon divides the folders so if you <coughs> want to have a sub folder in the new stuff folder then you can name this folder right after the colon for example <coughs> let's make it 2010 and in that 2010 folder we create a page which is called um, ideas for example. When you're done and have created your own structure you simply click the search button. Obviously the page 
tells you that this uh, page does not exist, but you have the option of creating this page immediately. You click on this, either top left of the uh, new structure or bottom left of the new structure. <coughs> so I click and immediately I can enter stuff on this page. So now we have created the new page and new namespaces along with it. New stuff, 2010 ideas. So if you click on the index button now, you can see that the new stuff folder has been created. In the new stuff folder, 2010 has been created. And in 2000, the page ideas has been created. So you have a very, very easy way of creating your own namespaces. If you want to add a new page in the 2010 folder, simply do the same stuff. Um, you can see the capital letters always are turned into small letters and you can see that spaces always are an underscore dash. Um, this is very important when creating new namespaces so you can write now new stuff the underscore is right here. There are no spaces, there are no capital letters in Tokuwiki namespaces. Colon 2010 colon uh, super. So we create a page called super. Um, we click on the search button again. The page does not exist, that is why we are given the create button. We click the create button and there goes our new page. <coughs> Let's make a headline here. Super. We save it. Click on the save button. Go back to the index with the index button. And there we go. New stuff 2010 there are the page ideas and if I go back you have a light, uh, an easy navigation structure with your trace it traces the pages that you are wandering along um, still let me go to the index ideas new page Next. <coughs> yeah. So here we go. You can change spaces. If you want to delete a page, it is very simple. You go on the page, you edit it, and simply delete the content that is in there. Then you click Save. Because the page is empty, it is automatically removed. So you can easily remove pages, you can easily create pages, and this is about it. You can basically add new files wherever you see the folder structure by entering the folder structure into the search bar, dividing the namespaces with uh, colons, and entering the name of the page. Then you go, click search, create page, you're done. <coughs> Thanks, this is about it. In my next video I'm going to show you how you can edit pages and what uh, amazing options you have there. So stay tuned and hope to see you.